Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to this home of measurement of building works, which includes estimation, costing, unit rates, or aspects of building and civil works. So on today's tutorial, we want to look at taking quantities of a staircase, and we want to basically look at one item, and that item is formwork. So you know that formwork is that is the timber element that we use. It can either be timber, steel, or or steel that we use to have our concrete in place. So we want to know how are we going to measure the quantity of formwork that we need for our, our staircase. Remember, when we are doing formwork for our staircase, we need formwork on these particular aspects. aspects. We need formwork on the landing, we need formwork on the staircase, and we also need formwork on the on the risers and we also need formwork to the ed string edges. So those four elements are the ones that we, we are going to look at. So we are going to start straight forward to the to the landing. To the landing. Now let's study our plan so that we can understand where we are going to need our formwork. So for the landing, our landing is here. We have our landing here. Yes, we have our landing. That one is our landing. That is the width and that is the length. So you are going this way. You land and then you go that way upward. So that is our that is our landing. Now, the measurement of our landing is we have 1200 for the length and then we have our width, which is 1200 plus 215 plus 1200 so we need a, a timber that is going to be placed here down and on this length so that it can be able to hold the the formwork now let's proceed and look at how we are going to book those quantities so the landing is 1200 we've seen the width is 1200 and then the length we've seen the length is from this point here up to that point because we are not including the, the wall. So we have 1200 plus 215 plus 1200. That gives us 2,615 2, millimeters for our, our length. So we are booking it in the formwork for learning is booked in square meters. So we book that one, 2.62. That is the length. The width is 1.2. If you tabulate that one, is giving us 3.14. And then we say swan timber formwork to the surface of the landing. Now, once we've add formwork to the landing we now need formwork that is going to hold the staircase where we have the risers here here formwork that is going to hold this concrete here on the staircase up to that point there so what we need to do we need to calculate so that if we draw that one it's something like that it's on the soffit actually like that so this is our widget. That is the widget of the, the widget of the thread. This is where we have our stairs. So we need this one here. That one. So this is going to be the height, and this is going to be the widget. And then we find the hypotenuse. Now for us to get the height, the height, the rise. That is the rise. This one is going to be. The number of risers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine risers. So one, one riser is one seventy-five millimeters. So one seventy-five times nine is giving us fifteen seventy-five. So here we have fifteen seventy-five on the rise, and then here on the width, the horizontal is going to be the thread. Remember, the thread are the number of risers less one so that gives us eight so we have 225 times eight giving us 1800 so for us to be able to get the hypotenuse we are going to to take this one we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem for us to be able to get x so if we tabulate that one our x will be 2391.78 millimeters now that is for staircase one but in this case we find that staircase So let's confirm that one. 
let's get the number of risers that we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's the same as the is one. So the risers are nine, the trends are nine. Meaning our x for riser for staircase one and staircase for flight one and for flight two, they are going to be the same. So we don't need to find x again for flight two. So we'll use the same, but we'll multiply by by two. So let's proceed and book that one. So our widget we've said is the widget of the thread. The widget of the thread is is twelve hundred. That is the widget of the thread. This one here. This one here from this point up to this point is twelve hundred. That is the thread. The widget of the thread, and then from this point up to up to that point is 1200 so we only need one with it so that is what we are going to do so we are booking it in squeezes so we have 2.93 that is the string that you the waste the hypotenuse that you have found and then our thread is 1.2 and then we multiply by 2 and then we say swan timber to the former swan, swan timber former to the soffit of the staircase on the soffit down there uh -huh. Now we proceed to the risers, to the edges, edges of the risers. You see these risers here, these risers here, these risers, these risers here that I'm alighting upward. For them to be formed, there are these, there is this timber that we place here so that we pile concrete inside there. So we need to find, we need to find how many are there. So we had nine risers. Two flights. So nine times two is eighteen. So the widget of that timber is going to be from here up to here, which is the widget of the of the thread, which is twelve hundred. So we book that one one point two multiplied by eighteen. Fit to the edges of riser seventy five to one hundred and fifty millimeters gut. And then we go to the edges of the string. Now you see our our soffit is like that. Is like that so we found this timber here but there is this edge here this edge there which we need it's one side only because the other side this side and this side is being held by the the concrete will be held by the wall so we need this edge here and this edge here so our 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 hypotenuse which was the string, this one here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, this one here, that one, up to here was 2.38. So there are two, this side and this side. So we multiply by two. So we say data to the edges of string 300 to 375 millimeters cut. So that is how you you quantify your homework very easy, very quickly. Thank you guys for your time. Until next time, bye-bye.